In this video, I'm going to show you how to pop your ears in seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. If you're dealing with a lot of ear pressure and it just will not pop, this is a video that you're going to want to check out. I'm going to show you how to quickly open up your ears, especially through the eustachian tubes and normalize ear pressure. Hopefully that way we'll get an instant pop and a lot of relief. A note about these exercises, each one works just a little bit differently. To get the best results, go through them all, use what works best for you. As a bonus, you can pretty much do these exercises anytime, anywhere, including during a flight. They require no equipment and you may find give instant relief even within seconds. So with that being said, let's get started. So here's a really easy way to self pop your ear. You can do this one standing or seated. Whatever side that you have a lot of ear pressure, let's say it's your right side, you're going to take your arm on that side, straighten it and lower it down like this. Now what we want to do is bring that arm back like this as much as we can, really focusing on moving through our shoulder. So draw that shoulder and shoulder blade backward until you feel a really good stretch in the chest and also the upper back. Let's hold this position. What we're going to do next is now turn our head towards the other side. So I'm looking towards my left shoulder. As you do this, you should feel that stretch pretty much deepen, but this time around going from the shoulder into the side of the neck, but more importantly, right below the ear. Focus on feeling a deep stretch right below the bottom of the ear. And we're going to hold this position when we can't go any further and now deepen it by tilting our head down. So I'm taking my left ear towards my left shoulder. This will really deepen that stretch right below the ear. Again, with this exercise, it's all about building as much tension as we can. Once we feel that great amount of tension, we're going to now take this one to the next level by wiggling our jaw from side to side. So slowly open your mouth and then take your jaw from side to side. I like to do that roughly for about five to 10 seconds. What it's going to do is help open up the eustachian tube and you might get that sudden pop that you're looking for. But if you don't get it on the first try, no big deal. It might take a couple repetitions. And with each repetition as you do this, I would deepen that stretch just to help open it up a little bit more. You can also experiment with different motions of the jaw. So instead of going from side to side, do a big wide opening, kind of like yawning, you may find that it just helps open up the ear just a little bit more. Afterwards, if it does feel like there might be just like a little bit of a congestion still in there or it hasn't popped, what I like to do is just take my fingers, my thumb and my index finger, grab onto my earlobe and just do a wiggling motion like this back and forth while I then wiggle my jaw at the same time. And you may find that that finally will help open it up and give you that pop that you're looking for. So this is the Valselva maneuver, or what I like to call the pilot special. I'm going to show two different ways how to do this. The first being the classic. For the classic, we need to close off the airway through our nose. So you can take your thumb and your index finger and clap down on it like this, or you can take your index fingers or your thumbs and press off to your side. Do what's ever easier for you. We just want to make sure that no air can escape through our nose. So what you're going to do next is mimic blowing through your nose. When you do this though, no air is going to be able to get through it. So instead, the only way that it can escape is through your eustachian tubes. That will help equalize pressure in your ear, hopefully giving you that pop that you're looking for. So let's give this a try. So as I do this, I actually felt a lot of good pressure release in that right ear. It might take a couple repetitions to do, so try to build into it over the course of uh, several repetitions until you finally feel everything release. So I know a lot of people will have sensitivity to their nose or maybe even will have rings or piercings and will not allow them to do that classic method. So we can do something similar using our hand, but this time around we're going to take a deep breath in and then kind of close our mouth around our hand and try to blow into it. But obviously our hand right here is going to restrict that airflow, again, allowing that air to escape through the eustachian tube. So watch how I do this. Well, that time around, I actually got it into the left side. So give those a try and go with what works best for you. 
So this is called the Tonby Maneuver, and this one can be a lifesaver if you find yourself on a flight and your ear just will not pop. For this one, we just need water. I wouldn't recommend doing it with any hot beverages like coffee, because you'll probably find it causes a lot more problems than a clogged ear. So it's very simple to do. What you're going to do is take your fingers and pinch your nose, and then take a drink of water at the same time. And with this one, you want to take a big gulp, not a small sip. We really want to focus on really activating our muscles throughout the throat that go up to the ear to help open up the eustachian tube and drain a lot of fluid. So I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to pinch my nose. Actually, when I did that, my ear just popped right there. But when you do this, you're really going to feel your ears open up. It's a really simple way. And again, with this one, if it feels like it doesn't go on the first time, do it a couple times. It will just help equalize pressure in your ear and hopefully give you that pop that you're looking for. So with this exercise, we're going to focus on reducing tension around the jaw and the ear and also using a vacuum technique to open up the ears and hopefully give you that pop that you're looking for. So let's start off by reducing tension around the jaw. We're going to take two fingers on both sides and press right off to the side of the ear. What we want to do is find the area where the jaw opens and closes. So press into that area and what you're going to do is slowly open and close your mouth a couple times. As you do this, you should feel that area where the jaw opens up. That's where we're going to start. So press in there where it's going to be a comfortable self-massage but not causing any discomfort. What you're going to do is a light circular motion with your fingers to create a self-massage while slowly opening and closing your mouth at the same time. I like to do that roughly for about five seconds and then just switch over different spots, really focusing on going a little bit above that jaw joint, going a little bit below. You can also go off to the side, even towards the cheek. If you find any spot that there's just a lot of muscle tightness or just achiness, throw a couple more repetitions in there until everything is nice and loose. And instead of just opening and closing your mouth, you can also go side to side with it to hit the jaw just a little bit differently. Just experiment with as many different motions as you can. So let's take this one to the next level by now opening up our ears with that vacuum technique. What you're going to do is take your palms right here and cup around your ears. And then you're going to press into your ears until you feel a suction form. And then from there, what you're going to do is open your mouth very, very slowly, open it up as much as you can, and when you can't go any further, what you're going to do is then release that suction. What that's going to do is hopefully equalize your ears, open up that eustachian tube, and give you that pop that you're looking for. So let me demonstrate this. I'm going to cut my ears like this. And just quickly reduce that pressure by removing that suction. I like to do that roughly about three to five times. It may take a couple repetitions until finally everything opens up, but I hope that gives you very quick relief. So this is what I call the ear hook and pull. This one is great if you're dealing with a lot of sinus congestion that's building pressure in your ears. So whatever side that you're having ear issues, let's say it's your right ear, you're going to take your thumb and index finger on that side and gently pinch into your earlobe. If you do have piercings or anything like that, definitely use caution with this exercise. So once you pinch onto your earlobe, what you're going to do is a fluid motion of hooking it. You're going to pull off to the side, but up at the same time. So kind of go goes diagonally up just like this. And with this exercise, it's all about speed. Be as quick as possible with it. Don't use a lot of force. It shouldn't feel like your earlobe is being ripped off. I like to do this roughly 10 to 15 times. And as you do this, you should feel a lot of good drainage form in your ear, and also it will quickly reduce pressure. Maybe you'll get that pop right away and you're good to go. But if it feels like you need some more repetitions, throw in as many as you like, and this is something that you can use throughout the day. So if that pressure won't release, you can take this exercise to the next level by, as you do this, slowly open and close your mouth at the same time. You can also take your jaw from side to side. Actually, by doing that, I actually opened up that right ear right there. But it'll just help activate the jaw, reduce a little bit more pressure, and it may finally give you that pop that you're looking for. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.